Today, Virginia added 2,400 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total to more than 1 million. This grim milestone comes just a year after doctors gave the first COVID-19 vaccine in the U.S. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther is working for you to find out what medical professionals say still needs to be done. I'll remember empty streets, canceled events, virtual schooling, and restrictive restaurant eating. We started out with a disaster. We did in March 2020, then on December 14, 2020. Sandra Lindsay became the first person to get the coronavirus vaccine. Since then, over 200 million Americans have also rolled up their sleeve for the shot. Most restrictions have been lifted and for many, life slowly returned to normal. But the fight isn't over. What we know about variants is that the more mutations you have, the more um, immune uh, boost you need in order to combat them. And some of the mutations make them more deadly and some mutations make them less dangerous. The infectious disease director at Lewis Gale Medical Center says misconceptions and distrust of science has people hesitant to get vaccinated. He gets that. He says he's just worried one day the vaccines may not be effective. It's not if, it's when. Here at home, most localities are doing their part with at least 50 percent of their population fully vaccinated. It is more transmissible. While early data shows the Omicron variant yields milder symptoms, it is still a cause for concern. Since it's going to cause a lot more cases than the Delta because of its contagiousness, um, it, it, it is possible that we might get back to the same levels of hospitalization. So here's the information medical officials want you to know tonight. We are in a better position this holiday season than a year ago, but Americans must get vaccinated and be smart. We just have to stay strong. We have to keep our head above water and we have to keep doing the right things. McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you.